So in this video, we're going to use Node-RED to set up communications to turn on a light uh, wired into a, an Allen Bradley PLC. So to do this, we're going to use Ethernet IP, that's industrial protocol, to uh, send a message across the network to the PLC. So this uh, <clears throat> Ethernet IP, we need a node for that. Okay, so I'm going to type in the filter here, ETH, and you see that I have two nodes, Ethernet IP input, which means this is something that would come from the PLC and into node red, and then I have an output, which is something that we will send from node red out to the PLC across the network, across the Ethernet. So if you don't have these nodes, this is a... Uh, extra palette that you have to add. So to add this you would come over to your menu on the right hand side, go to manage palette and type in and the search as you see I already have it done here, ether and it'll pull up this node red uh, contrib CIP ethernet IP and you can see mine is in use but if you don't have it installed it'll have a, a button here will say install. So you install it, you'll have these two nodes. Now I'm, I'm going to send out a message to turn on the light. So I'm going to send the message to out of node red to the PLC. So I'm going to drag this over here. And you see the triangle here. That means that there's some configuration that needs done. So I'm going to double click on that. And you can see here I have to select my PLC. So if I click the down arrow, I'll have my list of PLCs. And right now there's nothing in here, so I'm going to have to add it. So I'll click on the pencil, and I'm going to add the IP address of my PLC. Okay. And I could give it an <laughs> just a name if I wanted. Uh, if not, it'll just kind of use the IP address as the name. And the PLC uh, is plugged into slot 0. And then I have to create a uh, reference to the tags that are running inside the PLC program. Again, this is an Allen Bradley tag-based PLC. So uh, the tag is kind of like a variable name. Um, and <clears throat> to go to the output, I'm going to go to the output of a compact logic PLC with a relay module attached. So it's a physical, so it's a local connection, colon, it's module 3 is my relay module, colon, O for output. This is not a zero, this is O for output. So it's module 3, which is an output module, and my first relay is bit zero. So I put data dot zero. Now again, this is um, the spelling of this, the capitalization and everything uh, needs to be correct. So notice we have the three which is the module. O is that it's an output module. Some modules have inputs and outputs. Um, so you would select I or O depending on whether you want it coming in or out. But again, we're, um, we, this, is, uh, this part here is a tag that's uh, basically the physical wiring to the light already wired up to the PLC. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, select this. There's uh, This is a red light on the PLC, and that's a type Boolean. And then we all actually have four lights on the PLC, so I'm going to add three more roads here. And I've already copied the first part of this. And the next light is a green light, and again, that's a type Boolean. And I'm just using Control c Control v to paste this in. The next one is a white light. And then we also have an amber light. And these are just wired in succession uh, into this relay card. So these are my different tags. Okay, now if you actually created individual tag names, these are actually default names given by the Allen Bradley um, PLC. But if you created your own personal tags and named it red light, then could actually reference that too, but again, you need to make sure that the spelling is correct. 
So, uh, anyhow, so this is my configuration for that particular PLC and the tags that that PLC has. Now, the t PLC may have more tags, but these are the only ones that I'm uh, planning on interfacing with right here. So, those are the only ones I have to define in here. So, uh, and then I added that. Okay, so now it's over here. I added it. Now it says update if I'm going to make some changes. But I added that, so now it's in my drop down list, and, and it's actually the one selected for my PLC. But then I need to select my tag. So I added four tags to choose from. So here I need to select which one you want. You want the, the red light, which is at zero, or whatever. And then I can give this a name if you want. And the name is just what's going to show up over here on the node. Now, what I want to do is inject a 1 or a 0 or a true or a false into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type up here in my filter IN to get to the inject. I'm going to pull out the inject. And the default for inject is a timestamp. I'm going to double click on this. And I'm going to choose Boolean. And it'll go to type true, which would be equivalent to a 1, okay? And so now if I run this, I would inject a true. Now, uh, so I'm going to connect this so that this true will go then to the output node to send this again across the Ethernet to the PLC. And then I'm going to uh, click on this, highlight it, Control-C, Control-V, and I'm going to make an exact copy of it and then double click on it. And the only change I'm going to make then is make this a false. Now again, I could put a name up here, but if I leave off the name, then it'll just kind of put whatever this setting was. So it'll tell me true and false here. And I'm going to connect that also into this. So now I can inject either a true or a false, which means that I can turn the light on or off through this node red interface. So um, the blue uh, circles basically means it hasn't been deployed. So I'm going to come up and click Deploy. So I'm going to confirm my deploy. And now you see it's trying to connect to the PLC. Now this actually isn't going to work because I'm not actually on the network with the PLC. So this is going to fail. You'll see it go red and it turns offline. But uh, if it... Um, if everything was correct and the, I'm on the network with the PLC, it would, it would turn green and, and say the, the PLC was online. And then I could click over here and send a true or a one over to the PLC, which would then you set that tag inside the PLC, which would turn on the light. Okay. Uh, now, if it doesn't work and, and you are on the same network with the PLC, then it could be something like your, the spelling of your tags were incorrect or something like that. So let's just review the tags one more time. So you need to, make, of course, make sure your IP is correct. But if you hit edit and you come over and you look at your tags, okay, if you're using the physical um, modules, you have to make sure it's a capital L for local. The module number is correct. You have to have a colon. Uh, both on both sides of the module number here, the um, left and right of the three, and then you have to have an O for an output. It needs to be a capital O, not a zero, not a lowercase O, a capital O. You got to have a capital D. Now, if you're doing an input, if you're trying to bring something in, then your tag would be a capital I for input. And then, of course, you have to have the right. Um, bit number if you're doing boolean, okay, or if you're not doing boolean and you're sending an integer, you got to know whether it's a um, integer or a double int or if it's a real type tag. Okay, so the tags, all of this must be correct. If it doesn't, you will see this uh, error or offline show up here in red. If everything is correct and you're online and the PLC is working, you will see it turn green and it will say on 